Get off of the bike, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Alright, ball backwards to the side of them boys. Keep going, keep going, stop. Get down on the ground, put your hands behind your back. I gotta be careful I don't press right on the D-pad. Blank County Sheriff's Office, gun, gun, gun! Gun, 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 shots fired. Drop the gun! Alright, hello everyone. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Holy crap. Uh, so right now we're just playing some Grand Theft Auto 5 on PC with uh, with LSPDFR. Right now we have a hunting in progress right in front of the uh, sheriff station. A quite interesting way to uh, start off our live stream here. Drop the gun, dude. Drop the gun. Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Drop the gun, dude. I think this is going to be a 1070, so right now we're in a foot chase, just starting off our live stream here. Welcome everyone, hope you do enjoy the live stream of course. Drop the gun dude, you're going to get shot! Let's see those hands right now. I need backup code 3, I'm in pursuit. Stop right there man, stop! Stop, stop, stop! We're going um, southbound, Panorama Drive. Correction westbound here. Yeah, this guy is uh, hunting with a sniper rifle and he's not wanting to stop. I got a uh, CVPI behind us there trying to catch up here as well. Stop, stop, dude. Put your hands in the air. Drop the sniper rifle, get down on the ground. When I was control to dispatch revise, the suspect is complying. Final stop is going to be on Gonkin Boulevard, Chola Springs Avenue, Sandy Shores. Don't move, man. Put your hands behind your back. What's up, Sheriff? Okay. So, sir, any reason why you're hunting so close to the town, man? You almost shot. By a patrol car, that's how close you were to the uh, road there. So, I'm going to figure out what what was going on with you, okay? Sheriff, if you just want to follow us, okay. So, right now I don't have chat open, by the way, for the stream, so I'm sorry if I don't acknowledge anyone in the chat right now. I don't have my second monitor up, neither. I wish I did, believe me, but I just have to occasionally I check my cell phone to see the chat. And everything but I do appreciate you guys watching and tuning in though I really do appreciate that so I don't know what happened to the boar I believe it was either a boar or a pig that he was trying to shoot so we're gonna see what his uh, deal is here sir what were you doing you, you were trying to hunt that uh, boar correct you choose not to answer okay so for the uh, sniper rifle is that gun yours or is it stolen you're not sure you borrowed it from a friend? Okay. Um, do you have a weapon on your person? No, you hate weapons? Okay, well, if you hate weapons, you wouldn't be hunting now, right? Okay. So, you don't have anything illegal on you, do you? That I should know about? Any weapons, alcohol, narcotics? Anything like that? Nope. Okay. You don't have any warrants or probation or parole statuses I should know about, do you? Can't remember? You're unsure if you do or don't? Okay. Okay, so let's get a pet check through dispatch as well. Then let's uh, pat him down here. An active arrest warrant for outstanding. Or an, an, out, an active outstanding arrest warrant, I should say. I need Kevin Johnson. A valid driver's license, though. Uh, a pack of gum, a pen, a pocket knife, a terrorist mask, a phone charger. Now, I don't know why every single person in Sid and Dress has a terrorist mask. I don't know why, but they do. So I might take it out because I see that search item so, so often. And it's like, hey, it's like everyone in the city has something like that. <laughs> so he does not have a weapon permit if you see in the bottom left of the notification there. What is this? Uh oh. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not a good way to start our morning. Um, smoke in the basement. A fire notification. That's not good. But anyway, so I don't drive or anything like that yet, so I don't have to worry about 
going there myself, so. Anyway, so back to the high stream here. I'm getting distracted from my phone. So he doesn't have a weapon permit, so that's not good for him. So he's unlawfully in possession of a firearm, or the uh, sniper rifle, I should say. So he's going to be charged with that, and he's going to be charged with unlawful carry of a firearm, and then discharging his weapon in city limits, and also the outstanding arrest warrant. So that's what we are going to be getting him on here. So, uh, we'll let dispatch. I guess we can just let the sheriff take him. We don't have to call it a dispatch or anything. Well, that tire just exploded there as well. Alright, so we'll be called for off of this uh, stop here. I don't think, actually, I don't remember seeing the weapon. I just forgot we never picked it up. Stop the Pet is supposed to have a weapons uh, collector, but I rarely, rarely use it. We don't really need a flashlight right now, either. Let's go to our uh, phone here so I can see the chat here. Oh, hello, Jello YT. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so I did not see the sniper rifle. It might it might have disappeared. I believe this was the area we uh, stopped him at. So unless he ditched it in the bushes or anything, I unfortunately can't find it. So we're going to search the fences here, see if we can find anything. We can search the other side too, in case he tossed over or something like that. All of the weapons uh, should have been next to him, if anything. That's usually how Alice pretty far is. So I don't know why it uh, despawned, or disappeared, I should say. So right now we were just dealing with a uh, hunting in progress. A guy ran off, had an outstanding warrant, and uh, I, don't, I don't know what happened to that boar he was hunting, but it probably just ran off, so... We had to run after him, so we're, our car is back at the station as well. So it's going to take us a bit to get there, so I guess we could just start jogging. So thankfully, thankfully, I was able to update some modifications earlier. I launched LSPDFR and I saw a few updates that needed to be done, so I figured I should just change those out really quick as well. What is this? Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely a working fire there. Third time of a notification. So I think this uh, biker here was not wearing a helmet. Never mind. I'm I'm guessing uh, we just got a uh, hit on this BF injection for no license. So I guess we can check this out here. Whoa, stopped super fast there. <laughs> oh my gosh, we almost rear-ended him. I was not expecting him to break so abruptly. When Ocean 12 to dispatch, you can show me out on a 1011 southbound CB Road, Grape Seed, Blaine County. No 1032 is needed. Roger that. One Ocean 12. Let's see here. So I'm just trying to get rid of the notifications so it's not blocking my phone from the chat. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, hello there ma'am. The reason for the traffic stop today is because my automatic license plate reader has detected the registered owner of this vehicle does not have an active license, a driver's license. So I'm going to need to see your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration uh, for your vehicle please. If you have any. You got ID? I don't know what this stop the pet thing is. It says edit LSPD for our keys I and I and set controller key interaction to none. I don't know what that is. I don't have any problems with it. So her registered name is Amy Reed, I believe. Her name was Amy Reed. So let's see here. So yes, yeah, so I don't have any problems with the controller with the menu. 
so I don't know why it's saying that for some reason. Okay. Let's see, relical documentations. Okay, well, thank you, ma'am, for the registration and insurance and your driver's license. I'll be sure to check these and I'll get back with you shortly, okay? So before I question her, I just want to confirm if the uh, ALPRs pick up on false information or not. Because sometimes they do. Sometimes they'll flag certain cars with false information. So we can check the head records, Amy Reed. A valid driver's license, no outstanding warrants, no probation or parole statuses, no open permits, no arrest records. 517 2020 failure to yield. Let's check the vehicle records here. DF injection insurance status none. Registered owner is going to be a J. Dixon. Okay. So now we can view the owner's record here. Uh, that was probably why the ALPR has picked up on that. Uh, the registered owner has a suspended driver's license, but the driver doesn't. So, we can't really get this driver here on anything really, since all of the information from her is valid. Except for really no insurance on the vehicle, that is not, uh, that's not good. So we're going to question her about that. I do believe it is a ticketable and a towable offense for the no insurance statuses on vehicles. I do know that your vehicle can be repossessed if you don't have any. If it's expired, that's one thing, but if you don't have any insurance, I think it's towable at that point. So we're going to ask her if, he, if uh, she has anything about that. Let's see here. Okay, ma'am. Um, all of your information comes back our clean and clear. I do have one issue though. What's up? What's up? This AI is just running into each other. Can no one drive in this game? <laughs> um, so yeah, do you know your vehicle's insurance has expired? You don't have money to renew it. Okay. Well, since you're just the driver of the car, since you're not the owner of it. Um, can you let the owner know that the insurance has expired? Okay. So we'll contact the owner anyway. And uh, unfortunately, you can't drive this car home, okay? Because you don't have any insurance whatsoever, okay? So I'm going to need us to step out of the vehicle, okay? I can call you a taxi or an Uber or something, but you can't, uh, can't drive it home, okay? So just uh, follow me, okay? Lower arm has needle marks. Okay. Yep, just step right here to my bumper, okay? Alright. Let's see, we can ask her about the needle marks here. Are those in your are those uh, needle marks on your arm? Those are uh insect stings? Okay. Alright, well you haven't done any drugs recently, have you? Any illegal prescriptions, medications, narcotics, anything like that? Okay. I just did tie for me, okay? So since we're going to tow this car, we're going to do an inventory check on it as well. Whoops, I already did check the play, we don't need to check it twice there. So a briefcase full of marijuana. Okay. So since uh, since she does have that in her possession of the vehicle, she is going to be arrested with that. Hi ma'am, can you just uh, turn around for me please, put your hands behind your back. At this time you are going to be placed under arrest because I did find a briefcase full of marijuana inside of the vehicle, okay? So, at this time you have the right to remain silent and anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one may be appointed to you about state ups and in your ass. You understand these rights I've read to you? Okay. Uh, lollipop, a used condom, that's disgusting, a pack of gum and matches. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the people, the things people carry in this game is ridiculous. Okay, so we'll call PT for this uh, person here. Last time I put someone in my car, 
uh, the AI and police broke my window, so I'm not going to put them in my car no more. So I just uh, have her take a seat as well. Yeah, like yesterday, I believe, I was just playing LSPDFR, you know, just for fun. And um, I'll get a uh, 1051 for this as well. And the uh, AI just smashed my window because the suspect was still in the car. So. I hope this tow truck doesn't ram us or anything. Oh, oh no. That was a smash. No. What is this AI doing? Oh my god. Please be PT. Please? Where's PT? There's no PT. Am I going to have to take her to station myself? What is going on? I guess we will, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. At least the tow truck did not ram my police car. That's all that really matters, right? So yeah, so that bike right there just kind of rolled through that stop sign. He did not make a complete stop. So I'm going to pull him over for that. And also, no helmet as well. Like County Sheriff's Office, pull over your vehicles to the right side of the road. Can you at least go onto the dirt? You're on a dirt bike, dude. It's not gonna hurt your bike, you're going on the dirt. Okay, <laughs> okay. Alright. When I was in trouble to dispatch, can you show me out on a 1011 eastbound East Joshua Road? No attempt to fade twos needed. Alright, let's see what this guy's deal is here. Alright, hello, sir. Any reason why we ran that, that uh, stop sign back there? On uh, CV Road? I'm going to need to see your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration for your vehicle, please. Any, any reason why you're not wearing a helmet? David Hardy? Okay. Let's see here, vehicle equipment, maybe. Oh, operation. Why were you riding your bike without a helmet? Sorry, you don't have any money to buy one? Okay. Alright, just sit tight for me, okay? I'll get back with you. I think this is the first time AI did not uh, put on their helmet when they got pulled over, so it's, it's actually surprising to see that here. Alright, so let's check ped records, see what turns up. A valid driver's license, active arrest warrant for attempted murder, no probation, no parole statuses, no weapon permits, no citation or arrest records. His address, whoops, his address is the uh, 654 Poplar Street, DOB 515-1976-44. Okay, uh, vehicle information, a valid registration and valid insurance, not reported stolen. Okay, so we'll get, I guess, a felony stop on this guy here. We'll get a state patrol since we are on on the uh, main road. Close to the highway, I would say. Really? A murder cop unit? Really? Alright, I guess we're doing this thing. Get off of the bike, turn around, put your hands behind your back. Alright, fall backwards to the sudden of boys. Keep going, keep going, stop. Get down on the ground, put your hands behind your back. Okay, you going for cuffs? I got I got lethal here. Get back on the ground, dude. Don't stand up. I don't know why he just stood up like that. I thought it was just gonna assault the officer or something. Alright, nice work guys. I don't know how you have a shotgun. You're on a motorcycle. How the hell do you have a shotgun? Alright. I'm sorry about that, man. Okay, so the reason that you are going to be placed under arrest right now, you have an active arrest warrant for, I believe it was uh, attempted murder. So, you have the right to remain silent and things that might be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney if you can afford an attorney. 
one may be appointed to see about the state of sending dress. So I understand these rights I've read to you? Okay. So, I already know he has a warrant, so I'm not going to ask him if he has a warrant. Um, do you have anything illegal on you that I should know about? Any weapons, alcohol, narcotics? Perhaps you have some? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to pat you down. I'm going to see if you have anything on you, okay? Don't move. Okay, an unpaid citation ticket, keys, a tactical pen, and sunglasses. I'm going to call PT or an MVA. That's interesting. So we'll call PT for this. Okay, damn. <laughs> Sheriff Unit just plowed over the, the uh, trooper there. Okay. So we'll get a uh, search of this relic here. A crossbow. I don't know how you fit a crossbow on a dirt bike, but... You know what they say about that. <laughs> okay, so we'll call a tow truck here. We'll call a flatbed for this, and we'll go to that uh, MBA. Dismiss these guys as well. So let's see where this call location is. It's going to be US Route 13. Yeah, I have to, I have to play with the ultimate backup again because. I don't like those murder cop units responding as a uh, highway units, you know, I'd rather have the CVPI respond, you know, the car that I have in right now for them. I think doing felony stops with or as murder cops is a bit unrealistic, although that, that is possible, but uh, they can get shot real easily without any cover, so. Is this the MVA right here? One ocean truck to dispatch. I'm um, 1023. We got one vehicle involved off of the roadway. Excessive damage. Attempting to investigate. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. One ocean truck to dispatch. We got an unconscious male in the uh, driver's seat. One occupant inside the vehicle. Go ahead and stop me at 1052. Cold three. Okay, so we'll get EMS on the way here. Now, I don't want to move him out of the car because he may have injuries. He may have some... Okay, paramedic. Just tosses him out of the car. <laughs> That's so funny to me. But yeah, we'll get... Um, I was going to say... I did not want to cause him any injuries. Then what he could already have and the, the uh, paramedic just tossed him out anyway so <laughs> gotta love AI in this game so fire and rescue I'm sorry a mask and fire are both on scene so no need for fire uh, services right now just DMS wait is that EUP uniforms? That's kind of rare. I do have EU EUP installed, but I usually don't get those guys as paramedics with the ENT outfits. Because if I use ultimate backup and if I got to EMS, I'll just respond with the default outfits. So I don't know why they responded with EUP uniforms. I'm I'm glad that they work, but I'm just surprised. I completely forgot about the EMT stuff, the fire rescue stuff. Alright, so he's going to be, Whoa, slow down there, partner. So he's going to be 11.44 after CMS did their thing, so we'll notify a medical coroner. Search him and then... Okay, we'll search him and then get him out of here. A paid citation ticket, a screwdriver, a pocket knife, a burr meth pipe, and a rusty spoon. But yeah, this, uh, this car has extensive damage to it as well, so it possibly rolled over as well. So we'll search it, see if we can find anything. A soccer ball, a bag of oranges, a prosthetic leg, a shovel, and a clown mask. Why does corner have to stop in the middle of the freeway? I don't understand. But we'll stop traffic for them so they don't get rain over or anything. Smoking will kill you, bacon will kill you, but it will sure... What did this say? It goes by way too fast. Uh, smoking will kill you, bacon will kill you, but 
Smoking bacon will cure it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's a funny quote from Corner. Looks like you were shot by a firearm. I don't know if that's true. Oh yeah, so we'll get a tow truck for this thing here. We'll get a pledge truck as well. Target license plate. Six, eight, boy, John, King, zero, seven, one, no, ten, ninety, nine. First person is, is ridiculous with this hat in the way. I thought Overlay Away was supposed to get rid of that, but I guess it doesn't affect first person. Like, in, inside of a vehicle, I mean. It just applies to it on foot. But if, it, but if there was a mod to get rid of the hat overlays while in the car too, that would be pretty cool. Okay, so here's our toe. You just crashed out there so there is our t tow truck for now cars clearing off of the roadway we're not sure if dispatch I uh, can show me back tonight he's going so slow what's what's he doing this is the slowest tow truck I ever seen it, it really is he's in a fast lane too so I don't know why he's so slow I will. We'll be clear off of this stop here. I'll be back tonight. See what dispatch has for us today. Yeah, I want to go in first person, but this hat thing is ridiculous. I know I can just take off my hat, but I don't want to go back and forth in between the menus all the time. So I just learned to deal with it. <laughs> but I think the escaped suspect was all in the airfield itself, so. We'll see here. Is this them? Oh, sh shots fired, shots fired. Is, did LSPD far crash or are we still good? I see, are we still good? Okay, so we're gonna be in a 1080 now. That was really weird, I don't know why um, Spotlight plugin crashed. I don't know, I wasn't using it. Thankfully, Thankfully, it did not crash while it's pretty far, because this is a good call out. That was awesome. So right now we got an officer down, and we got a stolen police car. This guy's armed and dangerous as well. Shoot him! If, shoot him if we got to. He already did shoot at us. So, no, not me. One also travel to dispatch requesting a pit regarding to be eastbound Panorama Drive. Traffic conditions are light. Alright, let's try it to pit here and then call spikes if we mess up the pit. No? I want to wait a bit before we call spikes in case he turns onto the freeway. Oh, mortar cop. Oh, that was so close. This is going to be hard to pit that van. Oh, he just turned around on us here. Alright, let's get uh, spike strip. Get spikes going uh, northbound, snore away, approaching the freeway. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who parks their car like that? What the hell is that? <laughs> Spikes were effective though. You don't see that every day. Car, <laughs> a car was just on the, uh, like, um, what do they call those? The, uh, the guardrails there. What else should try to do? So we got one at gunpoint. Stand by. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I really don't know. 
<laughs> and he just takes off in the police van. <laughs> bye bye, police van. <laughs> oh, dude, this game, man. What is this game, dude? It's the the cop took off in the van. Um, the AI CVPI was on the guardrails. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right, all right. Let's pat him down. See what he has on him here. I'm good, dirty. All right. Let's see here. Let's see what he has on him. A small revolver and a used needle. Yeah, I think he also had something else which he shot at us with earlier. And maybe that was it. I can't remember. I thought it was an automatic, but I could be wrong. Okay, so let's call PT for him. And then get the police bike out of here. Alright, so let's call for a 1051 here. I see VPI there. Look at this. Sorry. <laughs> Look at all this traffic. What is going on with this game? Alright, so let, let's repair my car. I usually don't do this, but it has been a crazy episode so far, so... I just want to make sure we are all good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this live stream so far. Hopefully you do enjoy it on this Tuesday morning. Yeah, I usually don't stream anymore. But I figured maybe not uh, for today. Oh, they got the... They got the Backstreet Boys playing in the background. <laughs> oh no. Alright, well, well, we'll be clear. When else in the to dispatch? I'll be... Okay. I'll... See, vocal dispatch is so crazy. I don't know why it's saying it. Roger that when I haven't even started talking yet. That's so weird. When else in the to dispatch? You can show me 10 8. That's what this is. Well, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> right there. See, it works when it wants to, but I don't know. All right, well, we'll be back 10-8 here. Ten what are you doing, dude? Holy shit. Holy crap. What was that? I'm going to pull this... Oh. I'm going to pull this uh, driver over really quick here. He almost hit me. Plate. It's going to be a jackal. Two, seven, William Lincoln, X ray, eight, 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 a traffic violation. Proceed with caution. Expired registration. Okay. So we'll get uh, some traffic stop at backup here from uh, Highway since this is their jurisdiction. Lovely CVPI there. Let's see, I can't remember who made this pack. Let's see here. I believe it's Jedediah, but I can't remember if it is or not. He does have his, the logo on the um, air freshener leaf in the car, so. This is a lovely pack, though. It came with, I believe, an Explorer, and I believe. I can't remember what else. And it has the. I think a Charger, an Explorer, and then. CVPI, I think. Alright, hello there, ma'am. Any reason why you hit me when you try to merge into my lane? I'm gonna need to see your driver's license, both of the insurance and registration for your vehicle, okay? Why is there sirens in the background? Am I missing something? Okay. Any reason why you were speeding and driving so recklessly? You're running late? Okay. You're in a hurry to a hospital? Okay. I say time for me, okay? Are you having some sort of medical emergency or just, uh, or just visiting? Alright, 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 alright. I don't know why, but a lot of people say that they're speeding usually have to go to a friend's house, go to work, or to a hospital, or something like that, so. Um, she does have a handgun permit for concealed long guns. Home address is 
4520 North Sheldon Avenue. No probation or parole, no outstanding warrants, which is good. No citation or arrest records. DOB 710-1990, age 29. Medical registration is expired. Okay, so let's just give her a quick ticket for the expired vehicle registration, vehicle documentation, driving with expired vehicle registration there. Okay. So I'm going to give her a notice to appear in a court as well. I'm not going to get her for the reckless endangerment or anything. So I don't think she used her turn signal either, but hopefully this ticket will help her learn her lesson. Hello ma'am, so I'm going to be giving you one ticket today for the expired vehicle registration. Okay, I'm not going to ticket you for your actions when you merged into my lane, failure to yield, and also for the, your reckless endangerment, okay? So, slow it down, yield, and merge properly, and try not to hit anyone, okay? You're free to leave when I get back in my car. Let's get this trooper out of here. Why is he on the grass though? <laughs> Alright, really quick, I do love the uh, rotators in this pack here. For my next episode, I might go back to the SAHP with this car. Okay. <laughs> did, he, did that guy just say traffic cops don't see this? What does that mean? I never heard them say it or say that before. Why is he wearing boots as well? Like motorcycle boots? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, so we're, we are still en route to the uh, arrest warrant to the Pearl, but um, a vehicle just merged into my lane and almost hit me, so we had, we had to take care of that really quick. Let's see here. Usually I don't go down this far if I'm patrolling up in the county, but I figured it would be nice to go down here for the stream. That way we're just not up in one place the whole time. And let's see what this interior is. Thankfully, we have open interiors because I probably wouldn't have been able to play with this mod. What is this call out here? Whoa. That was loud. I gotta be careful I don't press right on the D pad. Blank County Sheriff's Office. Gun, gun, gun. Gun, gun, gun. Shots fired. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. I hit the wall, no. I, I keep hitting the wall. Let's go in first person. Drop the gun. You're gonna get shot. Alright, she's she's down. Weapon is recovered. Oh, uh, this is Dr. Freelander's office. That's what it is. Okay, this uh, room is clear here. One option charge to dispatch you advised to get one suspect down, one female suspect down. Go to start me at 1052. Okay, so let's uh, search the body here, see if we can find anything. I don't know if EMS is going to be able to come into the interior, since I don't think they work like that. A small baggie of meth, a baggie of meth, and a fentanyl and a lighter. Okay. Yeah, so I don't think EMS is going to be able to come into the interior, since it is a mod. What's going on? I'm literally in the door. What is happening? Okay, I don't know what's going on. The door is literally in my way. Um, yeah, I don't think the EMS will be able to come through the door, since this is an interior. So hopefully, we can find a way to uh, get them out of here. Alright, just come with me outside, okay? I hope this will work. I hope the AI can follow me outside. Can they? No. I haven't done this call up before. I haven't done this call up before, so I don't know. Ma'am, come with me, okay? Maybe we can drag her outside? Like, grab her, and then that will make her go through the world? 
Yes, we did it. Okay. That is awesome. I did not know you can do that. Okay, so... I had to grab her to go... To make her go through the world with me. So, through the interior. So, that's good. Okay, so we'll call you EMS here. Before I forget. Oops. We'll call you EMS here. I take a seat from you, okay? You shouldn't be in the roadway, so I'm just going to make her get up again. Why is the EMS on the beach? What are they doing? Oh, here they are, okay. I made them respawn, so maybe they just were at a bad position. Alright, so EMS is uh, here on scene, so we'll be back 10-8 here as well. 